let us declare war, I guess. You guys really just never want to attack. What? Are, why? What is their negative? The threatened attitude? Really? I'll threaten you guys a little bit more if you don't freaking help out. Pull your own freaking weight around here. Make Russia do everything. Bunch of jerks. So who actually declared war on us? Uzbek? I'm not super concerned if it's just Uzbek that came to help them. That's cool. Is this Uzbek here? No, that's not even... Where is Uzbek? That Uzbek? Pfft, they're pretty damn far away. I don't think we'll be seeing much of them. Well, that went well. I wonder how big their army... Oh, the Ottomans are here too. They are in trouble. Go ahead and start deploying our troops so we can try to occupy stuff before the Ottomans get there. I'd rather not let the Ottomans occupy more than we have to. Oh good, the Ottomans are backing off too. Try to nip that in the bud right here. Don't need Ottoman trouble. They are trouble. Where are you retreating to, you jerks? Leave our army behind. That's not a very good occupation force, but it'll have to do for now. Oh yeah, we should probably work on... Managing our overextension more, too, so we can actually take some territory in this war. Alright, the Ottomans came to help, apparently. That's nice of them. I'm not seeing any more enemy troops, either. This may be in the bag, except, well, I guess I do see some enemy troops up there. So, let's go ahead and split off another force. Swing on up here. Trying to do this as efficiently as possible. Now, what is going on down here? Who is invading? Brandenburg? What the heck is Germany doing? Whatever. Not my problem. And those dastardly troops are going somewhere. Are they coming here? They are retreating to here. When are we going to get out of here? That, that will be fine. That will work out just fine. So we're almost done occupying stuff again. We wiped out one of their armies. Cool beans. The Ottomans stayed there too. That's good. That's going to help a lot. And I think I'll get the credit for actually... Uh, occupying the territory because my troops are there first. I'm not going to send any more troops there because it's just going to lead to further uh, overextension. Well, there's the Lithuanians being scary. What kind of rebels are those? Are those friendly rebels? Well, maybe. They're nationalist rebels, that's always good. Yeah, select the army. four behind and move everybody else down there. Alright, another successful war. Now it's just a waiting game again. And we'll redeploy troops as we can to occupy more territories, but uh, I don't think the Ottomans are going to be able to take any territory here, which is always good. Now we actually have a lot of military power. I want to see what technologies we might be able to do here. Uh, looks like we have a ways to go. We need to get to 718, so that'll be a little bit. We have no ideas available. Nope. 
So we'll just keep working on getting these occupations done. Oh, he had a general die, and I had to recruit a new one, and he's a lot better, so that's good. That is good news, because we actually had military tradition and whatnot built up, so that's pretty cool. We're finishing up some of these uh, sieges here. Now, my general idea here for what my plans for Russia are, at least in the, the meantime, in the short term, is pretty much we're going to take anything that's kind of a Russian territory... Uh, traditionally maybe even like into the Soviet Union times but um, you can see here that this is the Baltics we'll take the Baltics um, probably stop at Germany is pretty much where the the border is gonna be when we get to Germany I don't really have any intentions to go there but Poland uh, we will probably take uh, Hungary will probably be where we'll stop here too so uh, that will give us a little bit of a buffer between Austria and Russia which would be good Obviously, Crimea, we're going to take um, going to take Georgia, all this stuff down here, and then go way east and try to get to the ocean that way through colonization and conquering. A lot of these little guys are not a big deal to conquer. Uh, they have lower technology. Even though we're in a lower technology group, we're in the eastern group. Uh, they have even lower technology than we do, so that'll probably be fine. Uh, I'm probably going to liberate Finland and have them as a vassal at some point, and... Uh, I, like I said, I don't really plan on going too much into Europe. Uh, I might take on Norway so that we could actually get um, Iceland and Greenland because that would be kind of nice to be able to colonize. I'm not sure what our colonial range will be. It'd be nice to be able to get to North America. But the priority is basically going to be to establish the actual Russian territories and uh, you know take on some of the things that the Soviet Union would have had to much later, but we'll do it. Why not? So... Uh, Pretty much border Germany, I think, is what we'll stop at. It's not worth getting into the Holy Roman Empire. Things get expensive in there. And you get a lot of uh, crazy wars going that way. So probably mostly let the Holy Roman Empire be. So we're just going to keep working on this. And our core construction is finishing up right now. That's very convenient. Uh, looks like we have probably wrap this up, too. So we'll have claims on all three of these territories that are good to go. And then uh, we'll be wrapping up down here. So we can move our troops up here, start rebuilding. Manpower is dangerously low. Um, so we'll have to kind of think about that. But I don't know. Uh, it's, it, that is going to be a little bit of an issue. Manpower is a big issue at the beginning of the game. Because uh, we really just do not generate a whole lot early on here. But as we get ideas and stuff, it'll start getting a lot higher. And uh, manpower is kind of critical because you can't really do much without it. A peace offer? No, thank you, Golden Horde. I'm waiting till we get 100% war score on you. I don't really know why. Let's see what. Actually, let's see what we can just take from them. There's no sense going for 100% necessarily. Uh, 84% extension. It's kind of expensive. That would put us over the top there, unfortunately. Let's just verify that our overextension has gone down to zero. It has. So this is really going to hurt the Golden Horde pretty bad. We only had claims on one of their territories, but I think I'll take four. And... Do I really want them returning a core? No. Well, no, nah, I don't, because I'll take it myself later release nations they're gonna be a muslim nation though if i release them aren't they that's not what i want the null treaties let's want this no we can't afford it hey wait a minute you guys before had said you would accept this i thought well fine i'll get 100 percent war score what do i care we'll occupy your last territory see if that will wind you know get them to give it up are these guys declared peace yet? No, they haven't. I kind of like to wait until Crimea and them declare peace because I have a feeling they're probably just going to take them out. Lose one stability, gain five inflation, or three inflation. I think I'd rather take the inflation, frankly, right now. We don't need instability. Definitely don't. 
don't need instability. So what's going on here? This is just those troops. Let's reform the second army so it's simpler to keep track of. And just keep on waiting. We still have a long time till this truce expires. Definitely want to be back up to full force by the time we have to take on uh, Novgorod again, though. Alright, so fall back to Moscow. And we'll go back to Moscow as well. Now let's see if you're willing to talk, Mr. Golden Horde. Uh-huh. I thought you might see things differently now. They would still not do that. Annul treaties? Will you annul the treaty? Yes, you will. Might as well do that. A vassal, eh? Could I really afford to do that? Clear the offer. No, they won't do it. Darn them! Well, we'll take all that off your hands along with your monies. Close to extension. So let's start managing some of this nonsense. Oh, these are expensive. We'll do the cheapest one first. Get those two going. All right, start the coring process. And like I said, we'll pull all the troops back. Um, I actually don't think I'm going to attack right away over here. Maybe I will. We really need manpower up. 266 a month is going to take forever. But we have a really long time. Oh, that'd be great. That's just what we needed. You guys, let's let's wait until everybody meets up up here anyway. And we're still gaining money even with maintenance at 100%, so I actually will probably just leave maintenance as it is for a little while here. Go deal with these guys. Yeah, and the golden, I mean the uh Ottomans and the Crimeans are just moving in and taking stuff. Hopefully they'll just settle as vassals or something. Oh dear god. That is a big... Why would you do this to me, game? That is a big force. Damn it, we're gonna lose. I cannot aff afford to lose this army. Why are you not helping me, allies? This is bad. All back. Get the hell out of there. That was ridiculous. That's not going to help my manpower situation in the least. This is terrible. Why would they have so many freaking patriots? Like, that's too many. Oh, now you guys are going to show up and probably go get wiped out. Bunch of freaking morons. Well, what we'll do is... How's Tula? Tula only has a supply limit of 11. That sucks. What about 17? We'll have this army wait down here. And this army will meet up up there. And hopefully we'll be able to do the little one-two punch here. Actually, this army is probably in pretty good shape to just do this. Let's take them out, guys. Come on. I really wish my allies would not be so stupid. They sure are stupid. And wipe them out. Thank you. Go back to Moscow, and you shall go back to Belarus or whatever the hell it is. And now we have to wait forever for our manpower situation to improve. We're losing money like nobody's business right now, too. So I should probably get that under control. Let's go ahead and reduce our troop maintenance. And 15 Patriots will revolt. We don't need that. I will lose the money for now. We really need to get this overextension under control. Because we are we are feeling it from these friggin' Patriots down here.
So while that is going on, I think I want to actually try to smooth things over with Lithuania a little bit, just so that we don't end up having to deal with them at some point sooner than I'd like to. Are they still aligned with Poland? They sure are. And Denmark. Denmark is a huge problem because of their navy. Things are not going good for the Golden Horde. Well, the Golden Horde just was to, uh, Kazan just declared war on them too, so uh, I'm not sure the Golden Horde's going to be with us very much longer. We kind of broke their back there. I think the Ottomans probably would have done it anyway, but let's go ahead and research a new technology. We can build a new thingy, which we probably can't really afford to do. But, why is it showing me this? Naval units, buildings. Let's look at buildings. So what does the armor even do? Not enough military. Okay, so this costs military stuff and plus money. And manpower increases. So we do need to start getting these armories going in key places, I think. So that's going to be pretty high on the list of priorities. Why is it telling me that I can build when I can't? It's kind of stupid. Usually doesn't do that if you don't have the money to do it, I thought. But I guess I have the money, I just don't have the uh, military power. So we'll start doing that in the core provinces, at least here, like the main ones. Yeah, look at that. That is a scary, scary Ottoman horde there. They have 12 there, 34 there. Jeez. Bad news. Well, hopefully the uh, the peace won't be too bad with the Golden Horde down there. Uh, I'm hoping that this, this little alliance between the Ottomans and Crimea will not last forever. They Usually something will break them up at some point, because uh, that's going to be problematic if they're going to do that. I guess I could try to force my way in here. What is going on with this? Uh, so there I have a truce. If the, if the Golden Horde isn't wiped out, I think what I'll probably try to do is take the rest of their territory, come down here and cut the gold, because the Ottomans will end up taking all this. I could, like, basically cut off this whole perimeter here and just prevent any sort of nonsense between them going on that way. And hopefully uh, Poland will be able to hold the Ottomans off over here. That's a little scary. They are my biggest threat by far. Another big old rebel army to try to deal with here, so I'm going to move my troops in, and before we even think about attacking, we're going to boost our morale up. I know we're going to go into the negative for a couple months here on money, but that's alright, and uh, we really aren't going to be able to attack anybody for a while because our, our manpower is so low, I really need to start building those uh, armories up and getting the manpower boosted. Uh, it looks like we have, like, what, seven years left in this treaty? Thereabouts. So I'd really like to get manpower all the way back up. I don't... I think we may have to put off this attack. It's it's a shame, because I really would like those three territories, but uh, I just... I'm not sure if it's going to be in the cards. Uh, it looks like they're all racked with rebels and stuff. If they end up being the leader of the coalition, it might work out, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I really need to get my overextension down too, which I am almost done working on the last one. I need 122 more administ or 122 total administrative power before I can get the last uh, conversion started there for core. But uh, it's going all right, and we can get these rebels under control here too. Come on, guys, you got this. There you go. Did the rebels disperse? They did. Alright, second army goes back up to its little home. Guys, nice cut through Tula, go to Moscow. Alright, cool beans. So, it's just the waiting game. I'll be back if anything happens. That does not help my manpower that this keeps happening, though. 
Oh yeah, we gotta reduce the army maintenance too. That's probably not gonna be good either. Sickness of the king, that's hardly ever good. Missionary maintenance, that's not gonna help.